डॉक्टर कुमार सांतनु ये विल टॉक ऑन कैलकुलेशन फ्रैक्शन मैनेजमेंट वेयर वी आर राइट गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबॉडी आह कैलकुलेशन एट वन टाइम इट वाज सेड दैट इफ यू हैव फ्रैक्चर्ड यू कैलकुलेशन यू आर डन फॉर वी हैव कम लॉन्ग वे सिंस देन लेट्स सी व्हाट इज द करंट कांसेप्ट and where we stand today it's indeed a pleasure to present my paper in front of none other than professor killer and professor day who are really, really masters in this fracture so i have got 7 minutes and i'll talk about seven controversies <coughs> and their correct and updated view on literature so guys we have i uh, have built up seven controversies and they are to operate or not to operate extensile approaches or minimally invasive standard type for what do we do we go with conservative treatment osteosynthesis of random fusion older age group osteosynthesis of fusion calcium aluminum reconstruction of fusion what about constant fracture and what about pediatric cable fractures so let's take them one by one to operate without guys as we all know in 2014 a paper came which was really like a kind of lame the coffin which said The surgery by open reduction and internal fixation in patients with typical displaced calcium fracture does not improve outcomes compared with non-operative care. An operative treatment was associated with a higher rate of complication. Really? Wait a moment, guys. <laughs> What do we have in 2018? That paper was greatly analyzed, cut thread there, and it was realized that there are certain fallacies in that paper. The follow-up was only for two years. the period may have been insufficient to detect post traumatic arthritis not only that another presentation by stephen rumelt paper in 2019 let's see what it says it says there is a considerable learning curve for individual surgeons surgical treatment by hospitals with a low case load is fraught with higher complication rate and less favorable favorable outcome the inclusion of patient into a multi center trial by surgeons who contribute like the dead and heel fracture trial just one to two cases per year is really negatively impacting the result in another rct whereas when all the patients were being treated by a single experienced surgeon the results are better so where are we now so when to operate the the final word as of 2019 is displaced interarticular calcaneal fractures with joint displacement of 2 mm or more should be reduced anatomically to avoid painful hind foot deformities and post traumatic arthritis of the subtalar joint and when do we not operate we do not operate when there are certain such considerations are there like systemic contraindication to rf severe neurovascular insufficiencies poorly controlled diabetes or not compliant patient like substance abuse in these patients really be careful about operating and when you operate make sure that you achieve these goals of restoration of heel height width and length correction of heel uh, virus subtalar joint reconstruction release of and protection of tendons and vascular structures what about extensile approach or minimally invasive we know we have these approaches at the moment 2019 The paper says that traditional surgical approaches for displaced interarticular calcaneal fracture or if we are extensile lateral approach has been considered to provide better exposure of the anatomy of the fracture however it does not carry it does carry significant higher risk of wound related complication 11.7% to 35% despite the use of meticulous techniques studies have reported that Uh, uh, the report to be an effective and safe alternative to obtain comparable clinical functional and radiographical results but significantly lower rate of complication and these paper also advocated uh, mess so the, the final word is conscious and there is definite shift towards less invasive method mess however does not uh, it should not be done at the cost of final outcome you have to maintain the congruity of the joint and if you are not able to achieve that by miss by all means open the fracture and exercise approach is still being judiciously judiciously practiced with good result by many standard type 
Conservative osteosynthesis of primary fusion. Let's see what paper says. Paper says that orthodesis has a very definitive role in standard type 4. Senior, uh, several proposed reasons for primary fusion are incommunicated fracture and atrical reconstruction of the posterior articular facet is not usually possible in high energy injuries. Irreversible cartilage damage occurs and post traumatic arthritis is inevitable. Therefore, subtalar fusion has a role. Primary fusion is favored by many. Surgeons more experience, however, matters a lot. What do we do in older age group? This paper, 2016 paper, the theory that older patients do not benefit from surgery has been challenged by recent studies. And these are the studies, and then the word is old age itself is not a contraindication for surgery. And decision making should take into account all factors, including comorbidities. Valuing what do we do? Reconstruction of fusion. Papers have come up and then they say that if there is no significant post traumatic arthritis, there is just a ligament impingement, then you can very well go with reconstruction. Maybe up to six months after injury, if the subtalar arthritis is not there. Constant fragment, really? No. Look out for any displacement or malalignment of this such tentacular fragment before using it as the uh, index template and building block. Pediatric fractures, there is a paradigm shift towards now operative treatment because even those fractures need proper care and the articular surface needs reconstruction. So 7 minutes, 7 controversies. Have I given you a final word? By all means, no, because science is always evolving. evolving. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Santana.